Welcome to the Toolhound Learning Center, a set of resources to help you get started using Toolhound 5. In this video, we'll look at setting up pick lists. Pick lists are lists of references that you reuse over and over again. You configure them once, then select from a list to save time and maintain consistency in your data. There are three types of pick lists in Toolhound 5. Simple grids have one entry per row. There is often a code, but sometimes you can have additional details. Hierarchical pick lists are used to categorize at two levels. Single record pick lists can have a lot of associated information and one entry is added on a page at a time. Simple grid pick lists are used for the following data. Manufacturers, conditions of inventory, departments or internal owners of tools and equipment, units of measure and issue, crafts or trades associated with personnel, certifications or trainings required to use inventory cost codes used with either jobs or categories. In this example, we'll add a manufacturer. Open the manufacturer's page, click plus to add a new record, type the description of the new manufacturer, enter any additional information, then click save. In this example, we'll add a new condition. Open the conditions page, click plus, type the description of the condition, and click Save. Hierarchical pick lists include categories and subcategories for part numbers, jobs and subjobs used when issuing inventory or adjusting inventory. In this example, we'll add a category. Open the Categories page, click Plus. Type the value of the new category. Save the new category. Click Add Subcategory to add a new child value to the newly added category. Add additional ones by clicking Add Subcategory again. When done, click Save. To add a subcategory to an existing category, select the category, click Add Subcategory, and type the value. Then click Save. The only single record pick list in Toolhound is the list of vendors used for inventory and replenishment. To add a new vendor record, open the vendor page, click plus, and enter the identifying information. The three pieces required are the vendor ID, the organization name, and the visibility. From there, you can enter additional information, such as the address, payment terms, Currency. When done, click Save. Okay, so let's review. The three types of pick lists are simple grid with one entry per row, hierarchical that use two levels for grouping, and single record per page. Thanks for watching this video from the Toolhound Learning Center.